When you start working with Power BI, you're going to hear a lot about data sources. But what actually is a data source? As the name says, the data source is, well, the source of your data. So it is the place where the data is physically stored. And in Power BI, you can have many different sources. Let's look at some of them directly in Power BI Desktop. So I'm on the report view, and when I go to Get Data, I get a list of the most common data sources. So that's a list of uh, maybe 10 data sources, but there's more. When I click More, I get a list of many more sources arranged in different uh, groups. So as you can see, there's tons of different sources, and there's even custom connectors. So in case your data source, your system is not listed here, you're still able to load data from this system. Because there's so many different source systems, of course in this video I can't show you to how to import data from all of these. So I'm going to focus on only one, and it's the one that most people use when they start working with Power BI. It's Excel. So let me show you how to load data from Excel. So on top here, I have Excel. When I select it and click Connect, I get a pop-up window in which I select the file which I want to import. So you navigate to the file, select it, and click Open. Once you did this, you get another window, the Navigator, in which you have all the elements which are currently in this Excel file from which you want to load the data. So as you can see on the left-hand side, I have different tables. So the this icon with the with the blue with the blue header means this is an actual table in Excel, and the ones below mean that this is a sheet within Excel. And what you normally want to do if you have the choice between table and sheet is you want to take the table. So let's select all these five tables. And as you can see on the right hand side, you even get a preview of what the data looks like. So I can check is this the data I want to load. And once I know these are actually the tables I want, I can either click load, which loads the data directly into the Power BI data model, or I click transform data, which I will do in most cases because this opens Power Query Editor, in which I can just check whether my data is defined correctly, whether the data types are correct and the names of the queries and the tables are correct. So now Power Query Editor has opened. I just changed this to full screen. And let's start from, from the top. So the first query is now called Business Unit 4. I don't need the 4, so let's just rename it so it's called business unit. And then what I want to do for each and all of these tables is to check whether the data types of my columns is defined correctly. Because this has been done automatically by Power Query, depending on what kind of data there is in each column. So let's see, the business unit ID column has been defined as a number column, which is correct. Then we have the business unit which is defined as text, indicated by the ABC. The division is text and the group is text. That looks correct. In the next table, let's just rename it from customers 3 to just customers. And then we again look at the definition of each of the columns. That looks good. For the products, we do the same. Rename it quickly check the definition of the columns, sales the same, rename it to just sales, and here we have the date column which is defined as the date data type. Date as you can see by this calendar symbol on top, and also the rest of the columns actually look correct, and the salesperson table only contains two columns and it also looks nice. So once we have checked that the data is correct, we can close and apply, which closes Power Query Editor and actually loads the data into the Power BI data model. 
This shouldn't take too long actually, it's only a couple of hundred rows in, in my Excel file. And once this is done, you will see that in the fields list, the five tables appear and once the tables and the data is in the model, I can actually start to create the report. Um, it's important to note that the Zebra BI visuals work with every data source there is. It doesn't matter where your data is coming from. If it's coming from a SQL server or from SAP or from Salesforce or any other ERP or online source, the Zebra BI visuals work with every source. Um, in this video, we just explained how to load data from Excel because this is how normally you would start when you create a report or when you just start working with Power BI in general. As always, of course, this file can be downloaded from the Zebra BI knowledge base where you can also find many more Power BI tips and tricks.